As we age, our bodies go through various changes that can affect our physical capabilities and overall well-being. This is why people need to maintain a regular workout routine to stay fit, prevent disease, and enhance their quality of life. However, not all exercises are created equal, especially as we get older. In this video, I'll share the six best exercises tailored for people over the age of 35. These exercises are designed to help build or maintain muscle and strength while also preventing injuries. Be sure to stay tuned to see how you can combine these exercises into your weekly routine. So, let's jump right in. Exercise 1. Parallel Grip Pulldowns Unlike the traditional pulldown, the parallel grip pulldown puts less strain on the shoulders, wrists, and elbows. Older lifters tend to experience more nagging injuries, such as tennis elbow. Using a traditional grip where your hands are in a pronated position may cause more pain or discomfort. Switching to a more neutral grip can minimize this pain, making it easier to do these vertical pulling movements. As far as grip width is concerned, using a narrower grip often leads to less pain if there are existing issues in the shoulders, elbows, biceps, or wrists. I recommend experimenting with different grip widths to see what's most comfortable for you. If you're worried that a parallel grip won't be as effective, consider this 2016 study, which compared three different pull-down grips. While they found that the pronated grip resulted in significantly greater muscle activation in the mid-traps compared to the neutral grip, they concluded that all three grips produced similar strength adaptations when implemented in a resistance training setting. In other words, you'll still effectively engage your lats and other major back muscles by using a parallel grip, making it not just more comfortable but just as effective as well. Exercise 2. Machine Hack Squat This exercise is great for building and strengthening the lower body without putting too much pressure on your lower back and hips. If you've noticed that the squat is causing discomfort, it may be time to consider this alternative. If you're afraid that this machine variation won't be as effective, don't be. Most muscles grow due to resistance, which can come from bands, machines, or free weights. Unless you're a professional powerlifter committed to the back squat, feel free to switch things up. The beauty of the hack squat is that the pad fully supports your head to your hips as you move up and down. Because this machine is equipped with a parallel grip for your hands, you'll put less stress on your shoulders and wrists than you would with the traditional barbell squat. Experiment with different foot widths to see what feels most comfortable. A narrower stance targets the quadriceps more than the glutes and hamstrings, but it'll also add more pressure to your knees. A wider stance will shift more of the focus to the hamstrings and glutes. If you suffer from knee pain, place your feet further forward, as this angle removes pressure from the knees. Exercise 3. Machine Shoulder Press Ideally, these machines will have angled or rotating grips that allow you to shoulder press without your hands in a fixed front-facing position. Having the hands angled slightly inwards or even parallel will reduce any potential discomfort in the shoulders if previous pain or injuries exist. This is also easily achieved using dumbbells where you also have to stabilize the weight which is great for your shoulder mobility. If you prefer to use dumbbells, that's fine. For older lifters, a machine allows you to shoulder press without having to worry about the weight staying on the correct pressing path, which could become difficult with dumbbells as you age and flexibility decreases. The machine variation also makes it far safer to train heavy or perform sets to failure. Exercise 4. Chest-Supported Lateral Raises As men age, their testosterone levels decrease. One of the main effects of decreased testosterone is decreased muscle, which is most easily seen in the broadness or lack of broadness of the shoulders. One way to maintain broad, masculine shoulders is to incorporate lateral raises into your routine. Although you may already be including some type of dumbbell lateral raise, a few adjustments can be made to further emphasize the mid-delts. For example, in a traditional dumbbell lateral raise, the further in front of the body the dumbbell is, the more involvement we get from the front delt. It's imperative to raise the dumbbell directly at your side. Even when raising the dumbbell directly at your sides, the front delt still bears a good deal of the load. Most experts recommend externally rotating the shoulder and leaning slightly forward. Not only will this put your shoulders in a safer position, but it'll also shift most of the load to the mid-delts. To minimize cheating and further isolate the mid-delts, I recommend a chest-supported version where you use an incline bench for support. Another tip with this exercise is to not raise your arms more than 90 degrees, as once you do so, the front delt becomes more active again. 
Raise the dumbbells until they are just below parallel to the floor, lifting them up at an angle slightly anterior to the body. Exercise 5. Dumbbell Sumo Squat While this is a squat variation, the stance width and execution make this exercise more of a hip hinge movement, making it a great posterior chain builder. While it still targets the quads to a significant degree, it does so without putting pressure on the knees. The sumo squat requires a wide stance and an emphasis on hip movement, which can help improve flexibility in the hips and groin. Strengthening the hips and thighs does a great job of improving mobility, thus reducing the risk of injury. Whether you want to go heavy or light, use dumbbells, kettlebells, or your body weight, the sumo squat is a great addition to your lower body training routine as you age. Exercise 6. Supported Dumbbell Rows This horizontal pulling exercise will add thickness to your back and strengthen muscles that will improve your posture all without putting stress on your lower back. While this exercise isn't complicated, here are a few tips to make it more effective. First, allow the dumbbells to hang at the bottom of each repetition. This will ensure your back is in a fully stretched position at the bottom, allowing you to train through a full range of motion. Second, begin each rep by retracting the scapula and engaging your back. Initiating the movement this way will ensure you're using your back and not overly engaging your biceps at the start of the movement. Lastly, maintain a loose grip and think about driving your elbows back. This cue will help keep the back muscles engaged without shifting the focus to your arms. So there you have it, the six best exercises for people over 35. But how can you add these exercises to your routine? I recommend a two-day split. Include the machine hack squat and dumbbell sumo squat on one day to target your lower body and on another day, do the parallel grip pulldowns, shoulder press, lateral raises, and dumbbell rows to target your upper body. Aim for 3 to 4 sets of each exercise, doing 8 to 10 reps each time. Be sure to always warm up and stretch before doing these exercises. Please like, subscribe, and watch the next video popping up on your screen.